Oh, hi. We're Lady Rage again. This vlog's gonna be about festival or gig stories, things that have happened to us at either of those places. All right, a couple of years ago, I went to see All American Rejects. At the time, I had bright red hair with these really, really tacky uh, dreadlocks woven into them, which I had made myself. It was not a good look but I thought I was the shit. And I go to the show, I had a great time, and then afterwards I thought, I'm gonna go gate hang because I would like to meet them. This was at Shepherd's Bush, and so I was standing here at the top of the alleyway because the stage door is here, halfway down the alleyway, and the security guard is just like meh heh heh. We see the band come out, and they go, hey! And then they carry on walking down the alley, not towards us. We're just like, shit! You know, like me and all the people were like, bah, bah, ka, ha. I turn to the security guard and I'm like, please, please, can we go meet them? Please let us through, you know, they're just down there. The security guard looks at me and goes, no. I sprint, literally, all the way around the block, <laughs> past the venue, past the pub, round the side of the building, and then go sprinting up the back street, which is where I can see them getting into a taxi. And I'm just like, wait! And they see me running and instead of doing the normal thing, which is Jesus Christ, run! They saw me and they were like, hey! And they got out of the car and the guitarist was like, hey, I recognize that hair, you were on the second row. And I was just like, <gasps> Senpai <"Sempire laughs> noticed me. <laughs> that is simping. I unfortunately couldn't really breathe. I'm an incredibly unfit, lazy fucker. He was just like, breathe, it's okay, you made it. And I was like, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Afterwards, you know, it was great. We got photos and they were lovely people and they got back in the car I, I walked back up the alley to be like <laughs> Give me yeah. the security guard. As I was walking up the alley, the stage door opens and out walks the lead singer <gasps> Tyson Ritter! <laughs> he was lovely. He suddenly noticed though that I had glitter all over my face and he was like, hey I have glitter too and I was like, yeah, this is yours. And at one point in the set he jumped into the audience He had glitter all over his body and he kind of landed on me but I kind of ended up with his bare chest smushed into my face and I bet it was like, wet when he said I like glitter I was like thanks it's yours and as the photo was being taken he quickly leant in and gave me a kiss on the side of my head unfortunately in the photo it's the exact moment that I realized this is happening because I'm like <laughs> that was something fun that happened to me at a gig okay well, my story is not as long as that <laughs> <laughs> but I could tell it in about 30 seconds <laughs> It was at the Reading Festival. I don't think we even had tickets. I think we were just camping. Or we had a ticket for one of the days. It was on the first night, because we hated like pissing in the toilets. We used to piss in a cup in our tent. My friend like went into my tent to piss in a pint glass. All I could hear was her like shouting my name. So I like went over to the tent and she just like chucked the pint glass of piss like all over me. And this was the first night and this was the only change of clothes I had. And I was like, the fuck? But luckily she'd been drinking a lot. So it was pretty much just alcohol. It was gross. <laughs> oh, and I had to just wear those clothes for the rest of the week. Are you still friends with this person? Yeah, she was like one of my best friends. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think she did it on purpose. I just don't know why she called my name and then did it. But um, that's the thing, we'll never know. You got anything? Yeah. Come on. I really like Hailstorm, but I paid a lot of money to get the VIP ticket. It just wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really well, like them. It was really fun to meet them. It was like five seconds of like, hey, thanks for coming. When I met Bianca Del Rio, I think it was only about 150, I think. But it's like lovely. a Motley Crue one would be like 500 or something. Because yeah. Kiss one was like 700. So you got a VIP, but then you got a meet and greet. Mm. That's a grand. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Speaking of Kiss, I think I do have a little, little tiny story going to download. If you go on to download festival highlights video of KISS in 2015, there was a bit where I got on my mate, not shoulders or back, piggyback, he was six foot four, and I thought I was like really cool, like, yeah, yeah. And I saw like one second of me in the video, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, basically, like, that's what they saw. And they were, they were like, <laughs> KISS. GIMP. <laughs> I turned up on a couple of McFly DVDs whenever they've like, Oh really? Mm -hmm. My friends once played a drinking game to it and they were like every time they spotted me they took a shot. I'm just hideous. I absolutely <laughs> love to see it. But when you're at a gig, like in a crowd, you look bad. You can't look good in a crowd, like, yeah. especially in a mosh pit. Yeah. Like no one looks good in a mosh pit, like it's impossible. No. Not even me. I, I just have like this <laughs> Even you! <laughs> you somehow look good in the mosh pit. I mean, yeah, you I like, reckon everyone else is looking like... Everyone else is looking like... like <coughs> this is you, like... Yeah, like the spotlight. Are you pulling oh! the laser? Like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of us. <laughs> when it's me, they're kind of like chills. <laughs> it's me, like crazy hair and everything. <laughs> no, I definitely look bad. 
And then there's Kim in the VIP section. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't worth it. VIP's good. Once you go to VIP, you never want to go back, especially at a festival. No, I want to go back. I need yeah. that money for food now. <laughs> Actually, a bold quick one. At download, I didn't pay for a VIP ticket. I got a picture online of what the VIP bracelet thing looked like. So I made one. Sam was like, what the fuck are you doing? That's rubbish. That's not going to work. It fucking worked. I got in like every wow. time to the VIP section. And another time I did it where this other guy I was going out with, he looked like a bit of a rock star. And I just went with a camera and him into the VIP bit and they just didn't question me. I think that's the thing, isn't it? If you walk with confidence, yeah. no one questions you. Exactly, and if you've got a camera and a fake bracelet. Yeah. yeah. Winning. Wine comes in handy. It was the shittiest thing that I like the highlighter. Same, it's just the same colours. I think it was like Tipex and some other stuff and like a bit of plastic that was the, the bit to hold the thing on. Yeah, so kids, if you can't afford to go to download, Make your own bracelets. Life lesson. Don't spend money. Life hack. <laughs> Bye. 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 You're the cool one. You go first. No, you go first. I introduced it. No. Sorry. <laughs> <It's>, um... <laughs> you. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, I was like, oh my god. Uh, How much did you pay for it? Like, I don't want to say on camera. Wow. <laughs> Bastards. Well, that note. It's not that interesting. <laughs>